Hello guys, how's it going? My name is Dalrin and today comes at you, me, with another video talking more about rogues. No, nothing new happened, I just want to talk to you guys about rogues a little bit, as this is what this channel is all about. I have recently got sick, recently got my citizenship and all that jazz, so I took a little bit of time looking through some of you guys' comments. And I looked through a bunch of comments from previous videos, and I was hanging around on forums before they got shut down for the time being because it is Monday to Tuesday transition so everything is getting refurbished and renewed and we might see something new coming out tomorrow or today this morning I guess check the patch notes but I want to talk a little bit about rogues let's talk a bit with the rogue community or at least everybody who watches my videos that plays rogue I kind of want to ask you guys what do you think rogues are at and are you happy where rogues are at Clearly, uh, as you've watched my videos, I've been very unhappy with how rogues have been before the 5% agility buff that was added. From perspective of rogues, I was really looking at from an outlaw rogue perspective, as outlaw was basically unplayable for arenas. It was subpar for BGs. So overall, which uh, where PvP is where my main, I guess, uh, where I get most of my buzz from, from playing rogue. And when Outlaw wasn't really doing well, it kind of died out for me, so then I started considering different things. For PvE, it wouldn't matter for me which spec I play. I play PvE for the PvE aspect. It doesn't matter whether I play a Rogue, whether I play a Mage, whether I play a goddamn Walking Potato. It literally doesn't matter. And for PvP, I was even considering overrolling a whole nother spec and a whole nother class, because Outlaw didn't feel the same way. It was literally just busted up spec. It was literally difficult to play. And not in difficult in terms of like, oh, you gotta be real skilled with it. It's just, you have two different paths. Everybody else is walking a clear path, and you're walking a path of nails. That's the only difference. You gotta struggle, and be upset, and get angry, and it's just not fun in the end. It's just not fair, and it's not fun. Those were the two most important things that I didn't like. Because back with Combat Rogues of Pandare, even though they weren't all that great, they had potential. I mean, you throw somebody in an 8 second stun with a kidney, get red buff, shadow blades, killing spree, you got something going on. It might be something you would see once in a blue moon, kind of like a unicorn, but at least you would see it once in a blue moon, and you would see it for all its glory. And that had potential. But with the way Outlaw was recently, it was just so shit. After the recent 5% agility buff, what does that mean for rogues? Well, it means that an Outlaw Rogue with some CC can let up great burst. Not as much sustain, but amazing burst. Doesn't mean you guarantee yourself a kill, but guarantees you that you have some damn good damage when you do. So then it's all about how do you put all these cooldowns together. So that's where kind of the, uh, the playstyle comes from. And for Assassination, which is a spec with still barely any CC, that means you have good sustained damage where people actually have to watch out for your sustained damage because you can force some pressure and you can be as medicine as a death knight. And, of course, even better burst. For assassination after the nerves that they've gotten before the agility buff, you basically would ignore an assassination rogue in battlegrounds. And that's just battlegrounds. Imagine how assassination rogues were in arenas. You basically were forced to play with Discipline Priest. And before with Discipline Priest, it would actually be a decent comp. But now you're being forced to because you need somebody there to do the extra damage. And that's not all that fun, let's be honest. When you're just hitting this as everybody else, you're going through the same rotation, you sink the same amount of energy and combo points into a target, but still, for whatever reason, your class compared to others is just garbage. And it's not fun. It's just not... So, the new buff did give Assassination and Outlaw a viability for PvP. And I personally think both specs have become more than viable for PvP and they're very much playable and you can accomplish a lot with them. I think this is probably the best rogues could get, unless we get nerfed down the line, but this is pretty good so far. Another thing I want to talk about is the comments that I got that are like me talking about rogues and saying that hey, we're in a pretty good spot right now after these recent buffs. I mean, we're not at the tippy top, we're not the greatest class in the game, we're pretty good, we're pretty solid, and after the nerves that we've had, I'm gonna take these buffs and just hold on to them. I don't think we need to get any better, I think we're doing pretty good so far. But a lot of people still believe that rogues are just average and can still improve. And I'm not quite sure what they mean by that. I mean, all you need is a rogue is burst a little bit of CC, or great sustain damage and a lot of CC, or sustain and burst, I mean you've taken one out of, two out of the three, you either have CC, sustain, or burst. And I think that makes it basically what a rogue is, and kind of can fit into a, a multitude of different comps. So we have a spec that can do just about almost everything except for one thing, so you can fit each spec into each comp accordingly. But I think there's a bigger problem. I think when we're having this kind of miscommunication where some people are saying that rogues still need a buff and other people are saying that rogues are great where they're at, I think we have a bit of a split in the community. And let me explain the split. 
I think a lot of people are still looking at the game and at rogues through rose tinted glasses and I don't mean that in a negative way. I still feel like a lot of the rogue community and some of the players of World of Warcraft in general are looking at some of their favorite classes from a last expansion perspective, thinking, oh, my class was so good in this expansion, why can't it come back to this specific expansion? And I feel like it's just a whole different game that we were talking about. Like, for example, Legion is a different game from Warlords, which is a different game from Pandari, which is a different game from Cataclysm. I'm not even going to cover Wrath, BC, or Vanilla because I never even played those, but with Nostalgia's, that might be an opportunity in the future. Anyway, I feel that the way Rogues are at in Legion, they're pretty good. The way Rogues were at in Warlords Jenner, they were overpowered. How about Combat Rogues of Mr. Pandarium? They were basically garbage next to a trash can. But which one would I say was better? And that's kind of where it's hard to decide. And I feel like when we're comparing cross expansion, that's where we get issues trying to figure out what we're talking about. So I feel like as a rogue community, we need to kind of come together and either talk about rogues where they're at right now in Legion, or the fact that we're playing an expansion where we have low amount of defensive cooldowns, not really too much leaning towards CC or damage. I guess more leaning towards damage and more a bit more leaning towards melee. But that's really the only thing that defines this expansion and how different it is from others. And if we are talking about rogues of previous expansion, I think we need to kind of reformulate our questions and reformulate our comments and talk a little bit about that. But I think the war rogues are at Legion is fine and viable. Thank you so much for watching the video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see all of you in the next one.